When you get a new iPhone, you can set it up as a brand new iPhone through setup manually in several minutes. If you have an old iPhone and have made an iCloud or iTunes backup, you can import the backed up data during setup of the new iPhone. This process can be lengthy and sometimes errors can occur, such as iPhone stuck on setting up Apple ID. In this video, we will introduce several effective ways to fix iPhone stuck on setting up Apple ID. Solution 1. Ensure network works. Sometimes, poor internet will also hinder your action of setting up Apple ID, so make sure you are in good network. Solution 2. Remove and reinsert SIM card. A SIM card is how your phone gets a network signal and is able to perform network tasks. This requires a working and properly inserted SIM card. Solution 3. Force restart. If you want a hard reset iPhone, you need to quick press the volume up button and quick press the volume down, then hold the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Solution 4. Restore iPhone via iTunes. You can restore your new iPhone and make it back to factory settings. Open iTunes and connect your iPhone to the trusted computer with original USB. Click the iPhone icon after it displays on the screen and then tap on summary. Click on restore iPhone to factory reset your device. Solution 5. Use iOS system repair tool. If the issue still not resolved after you tried above methods, it is suggested to use iOS system repair tool. Joyo share alt fix which can fix more than 150 iOS issues which include iPhone stuck on setting up Apple ID, iPhone stuck on white screen, iOS update failure issue or more. Now let me show you the steps to use Joyo Share Alt Fix to fix it. Install and launch Joyo Share Alt Fix on the computer. Plug your iPhone to the computer. After that, press the start button to proceed. You are now in the mode selection window. It is enough to select the standard mode, which will not cause any data loss. Then press the next button. In this menu, there is a guideline how to put iPhone into DFU or recovery mode, and we need to put iPhone into DFU or recovery mode. Some of the info about your iPhone will be displayed on the screen. Make sure all the info is correct and change the wrong parts. Then press the download button to download the matching firmware package. Lastly, click the repair button, the downloaded firmware package will be unzipped, and the program will start to fix your iPhone issue. A few minutes later, the repairing process will finish, and your iPhone will come back to the normal.